And I have a big list here of basically all of the false, I mean, all the stories that wound up being complete BS. And they never will wind up being true. And no matter how much the snowflakes and the resistors try to make things true, it's still not going to be true. Resist we much. That's just the way it is. So we'll begin. So I will tell you the story. I'll say pull, and then we will go ahead and shoot. Okay? And now these are these false stories are in no particular order though. So you, there might there are some there might be some you might have from the beginning of the campaign or up until now whatever so they're in no particular order they're just things that have come off the top of my head I haven't even done any research to find more stories I'm sure there are many more out there but I'll this is going to take a while <laughs> I'm just let you know okay all right sit back all right the Donald Trump inauguration crowd mm-hmm. was sparse po. Melania was in violation of immigration laws. That's how she got here. Pull! The Trump administration has secret ties to Russia. Pull! The NSA is not briefing Donald Trump, purposely hiding information from him. Pull! The National Guard. Donald Trump is considering having them round up immigrants and illegal immigrants. Pull! (laughs) Sean Spicer is on the bubble. Pull! Kellyanne Conway is sidelined from TV. Pull! (laughs) Donald Trump groped women. Pull! Ooh, I shot the... Thing right, and didn't even give it a chance to get up in the air, did I? No, no, that's not proper skeet shooting. <laughs> Flynn violated the Logan Act. Pull <laughs> Kellyanne Conway violated ethics. Pull <laughs> Donald Trump has syphilis. Pull. Donald Trump has removed the MLK statue from the White House. Pull! John Bolton was not appointed Secretary of State because Donald Trump has an aversion to facial hair. Pull! <laughs> Ooh, that was another one. Right? I forgot about that. Oh, you did forget about it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, that's excellent. Right. Criminal charges are on the way because of Trump University. Pull. <laughs> Melania secretly hates Donald Trump as evident by her look on her face at the inauguration ceremony. Pull. <laughs> Anything else? We got, how many is that? That's One, a lot. Two, uh, that was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I lost count. I know you all have more. 969-9797-866-455-9797. I mean, that's just, those were just like during the break, me writing <laughs> down on a piece of paper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 patently false stories that have been perpetuated by the fake news media, the enemy of the people. 15 just off the top of my head, and I know that there are other ones out there. It's not a news story, but Big Lee versus Big League. They were touting that. Pull! <laughs> 16. He says Big League. He does. He says Big League, and people were uh, talking about is that it was Big Lee. Yep, how and, and, uneducated and, he was, right. mocking him. Right. Well, that's another one. Remember when he said that... I love the, what do you say, undereducated or the uneducated? That was perceived, although this is a stretch a little bit, though, that was perceived as a, as something where he was actually uh, loves them because they're stupid enough to vote for him, which mm. was purposely not his, that was not what he was right. insinuating. So that was just a misconstruing of what he said for the purposes of demeaning him, which I still think is worthy of a poll. 
Oh, here, yeah. Don. Yeah, hey, I got one for you. Yeah. Donald Trump is anti-Semitic. Oh. <laughs> right on, buddy. Yeah, the anti-Semitic. Yeah, that's a yeah. that's a that's a new one. Yeah. That's a new one. And I but but I mean that's just like 16, 17, 18 that we just came up with within a period of like just a few minutes. Becky. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I got a good one for you. Yeah. Donald Trump is a dictator. Paul! That would be a big pow. <laughs> Have a great day. All right, you too, dear. I mean, you know, I, it goes on and on and on. And and what we're seeing is that the media at this point and, and the protesters, they're just making stuff up. At this stage of the game, they're, they're just and what what isn't there. They're just making up. And again, the, the biggest thing to me that 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 I think needs to be ultimately addressed is this whole Russia thing. Where did that whole story go? Because remember, like a week and a half ago, whether it was Shepard Smith or someone else out there, they were all like, "Oh, this is this is the end. This is." It's going down. The, this is going to be the end of the. I mean, it will be hours be, when when Donald Trump resigns as president of the United States over uh, ties to Russia and nothing, nothing. So any any more ideas? I'll I've continue to play the game. This in the morning. I'm just seeing that uh, and in my Alan Cole is radio. Oh. Huh? I don't know what that's all about. Nine six nine nine seven nine seven eight six six four five five nine seven nine seven. Jesse Waters on the other side of this break. Ninety seven one news time eight seventeen. It's fifty four degrees. I'm Denise Schaefer, and here are a few of the local stories we're following this morning. The Missouri House gave initial approval to a bill that would reduce the number of weeks that the state's unemployed can receive benefits. St. Louis Alderman and mayoral candidate Antonio French was served with a lawsuit as he walked into a candidate's forum last night.